I've been a banker for eight years, and I know how difficult it is for people to get jobs. Mm -hmm. I, I know. But coming down here, you see companies asking you. I have, in fact, as I speak to you, I work, and I, I still have interviews on Monday, you know. Welcome to this particular session today, and I will be interviewing Uche. So, Uche just relocated to Canada. Yay! <laughs> so, today I will be, you know, having the discussion with him where he's going to just gist us his study abroad story and how he did it. Of course, you know that the people we bring here are people who work with Vantage Migration while they were in the process of their travel abroad journey yeah <laughs> in case you're wondering who is talking my name is dr linda iheme i'm an educational consultant with vantage migration myself and my team we train graduates and professionals who want to relocate abroad we train them on how to go about the process all by themselves. I'm sure you yourself that you're watching this, you may have it in mind to relocate or to travel abroad or to study abroad. Don't worry, you are in the right place. <laughs> so today we'll be hearing from Uche. Um, he has a very intriguing profile. I'm sure <laughs> you're going to love it. Also, if you're watching live, First of all, if you're watching this as a replay, there's nothing you can do about it. But if you're watching live, feel free to drop your questions so that I can look at your questions and ask some of them to Uche as well. Uche, if you're here, you could request to join us as uh, you could request to join us, okay? So that would be okay. Okay. So most times, why is it that we do? Oh, uh oh, he's here. <laughs> You are wearing red turtle neck. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wait, 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 were you did you, were you using microscope or something to look at me in my house? <laughs> you know the weather here, so we're just trying to we're just trying to um you know get ourselves warmed and all that. Ah, this is it. Look at I'm wearing red turtle neck. He's wearing red turtle neck. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> this is interesting. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh my god, we didn't plan it. <laughs> no, no, it, is. it was a coincidence. It was a coincidence. A pure yeah. case of this, this could be a good sign. We're gonna have a nice time. We're gonna have a nice yes, time. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I agree with you. Oh welcome on board. Congratulations. Yeah, Thank you. Thank to you. Canada, and I you see it's a whole, it's a whole. How do I put it now? It's a lot of work, right? Yes, different, it different is. aspects. It this, is. that, I that. Agree. So when I see somebody that have full drum, like yes, 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 <laughs> happy for you. Yeah. Thank you how very you much. Feeling? How are you feeling? Like I'm how, how, how is everything with you? I, I'm fine. In fact, in fact. Um, I am, I am, I am over, overjoyed. You know, it's mm -hmm. um, it is something that I've always wanted to do. You mm -hmm. know, but um, how to go about it was an issue. You oh. know, I, I happen to be a Nigerian, a typical Nigerian banker where you go to work from Monday to Friday, even sometimes on Saturday. Mm -hmm. it, was very, it was a difficult. It was, in fact, we don't even have time for ourselves, let alone going to see how we can get information. But mm -hmm. of course, it was an interesting decision because um, at first, even before I came across Linda and Vintage, um, I, I, I oftentimes go to the internet to see how I could get information as regards to traveling abroad. But um, mm -hmm. you know now, it is not coincide. The information are just here, 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 mm -hmm. you know, everywhere. So it is now the ability to bring them all together, you know, and have a straight path. That was an issue. I didn't have that time, you know, mm. until I, I, I came in, in contact with um, Vantage and Linda. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Wow. Well, well, you, you know, like, I'm even very happy that you're talking about this because as you, um, you read accounting, but yes, yes. by profession, you're a banker. And yes. one thing we, everybody that is watching this video right now, one thing that we all know about bankers is that bankers don't have 
time because of the nature of their work. Yeah. I can imagine. <laughs> okay, one time I, I, one, uh, my accountant was saying something. She said, Oh, we've not finished. She was saying about something like a monthly stuff that they've not finished. I was like, hmm, Okay, this one they are saying that something is still holding them. I was like, She said the account has not balanced. I said, Okay, <laughs> how, uh, how much? Say eight naira. Yes. I, don't know. I laughed. I was like, "Hey!" Like, like, I, I, I was. I don't know how to. I don't know the the description of how I felt. I'm like, in my mind, why are you wasting my time? Because of eight nine and three professionals that were working that <laughs> we are held ransom for days. Eight nine. Yeah. I was like. Oh. <laughs> You know, it is, it is in, in, in accounting, you know, before, when, when you are given the resources to, to expend, you know, it is only normal and um, only right for you to come back and say, what you gave to me, this is what I did with it. So it has to balance. For whatever reason, if there is if there's one error difference, then there's an issue. So it has to balance. Yeah, balance. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, I mentioned that because I, um, I, I remember talking to a banker one time and she was like, when all the costs, you know when they say, let's say, bank close by five or six, yes. that's the best, that's stop people from entry. Yes, yeah, for the customers, yes. The, exactly. The bankers, they have to stay back and, you know, make sure everything balance, all the going out money are coming in and she was like, hey, you don't go home until that thing has balanced. Yes. So when yeah. I... So when I also heard from someone that eight naira can help can hold people ransom, I was like, now I see the work you guys do. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a lot of work, and because of this, sometimes you have to go home late. And if you live in a busy city, before you even get home, is another issue. So yeah. bankers don't have time, you know, and it, that makes it very difficult. So what what made you decide to? Um, well, okay, I think you've already hit that a little bit when you were talking about the information on the internet being everywhere and you, yeah. you know, you needed that, that arrangement, you know, the step by step format. Let me put it that way. Yes, hmm. Hmm. that's interesting. So, um, maybe I'll not say tell us more about your study abroad story, like the, the, the entire story, how it went, you know, the highlights of the entire story. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. It's, in fact, it's an interesting one. Each time I share it with people, they are always like, "Wow, wow!" You know, okay. Oh, well, the 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 plan started way back uh, two thousand and nineteen, when um, I've always wanted to leave the country. Like, okay, how? What? What are the best ways to go about it? You know. Um, then we had the PRO. We had a lot of other means. So I started the PRO actually. I actually started it, you know, mm -hmm. sent my credentials to West mm -hmm. and they did evaluations and all that. But of course, we know that before you will even uh, submit your, your, your application in the pool, you need to probably do a test of your score to see what, you know, what you're probably going mm -hmm. to get as against. Mine was very low. It was mm. low because um, despite the experience, work experience, despite the qualifications, I did not have my master's. And um, I was over 30 years at, 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 at that point in time. So those were the factors that actually reduced my, 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 my score. Oh. So I said, okay, what are the other means? What are the other means? And like I said, I was always on, on the internet. Each time I'm back from home, you know, living in a Lagos um, city where working from the island, you, you live on the island and uh, sorry, you work on the island and you live on the mainland, you know how tedious it could be. So mm. um, each time I get home, sometimes I sleep off. The next day, five o'clock, we're on the road. You know, weekends on Saturdays we are to work and all that. So the few times I had, I, I was always checking up information until sometime. I think it was during the COVID, or yeah, it was during the COVID year, 2020, where I stumbled into. I had that. In fact, it was a live section with you and um, um, Linda Ikg and Omoni Oboli. Yes, I think I watched that section, two of them, and I was mm. like, wow, okay, this master class, you know. My fear was the fact that I did not have the time, how am I supposed to be attending the class, you know? Mm. Um, so when I got in contact with you and uh, I was told the, the ways and the, the way the lectures are structured, you know, 
messages, um, um, the information will be dropped. And whenever you have your time, at your spare time, you could look at it. Mm. And you mm. have this information. It's not like you look at it. It's not like somebody is telling you an information and once the person is done, it goes off. You know, mm. you have all the time in the world to play and replay and keep looking at it. And if you have questions, mm. the Vantage team are there to answer you. So it was something that really caught my attention. I said, in fact, I need to, I need to do this. Let me understand this study abroad route, how to, you know, leave the country or go to, go to school using um, study abroad route. So basically, that was exactly what happened. And then I got in touch. You know, I was told all that is required. In fact, there was a particular thing you said. You know, normally, when, when we want to leave, we, we think we are immigrants, you know. There was a particular thing you keep hammering that you need to change your mindset that you're not an immigrant. You are an expert. So be looking at you, look at yourself as an expert. And by so doing, you, you, in fact, the country, where, the country where you're going to will be pleased to receive you. You know, some of these things is about belief. Things, I believe a lot of things happen outside the physical world. So if you keep being positive, if you keep, you know, making sure that all the decisions and whatever you want to do are in the right directions, my, my, my sister, I, I'm sure the heaven will be, the, the sky is your limit. If I, or what, is, what do they say? That the sky is your starting point. So, <laughs> that's exactly. So, of course, um, I attended the class sometime in um, January 15th. Yes, I remember January 15th, 2021. Okay. And, yes, that was when the class started, that particular mm. um, diet. Mm -hmm. And it lasted for. I think it lasted for about uh, three months. Or, yeah, 30 think, days. Yeah, 30 days. It lasted for about 30 days. Mm -hmm. So um, all the information has been dropped. Even after the class, you can always reach out to Linda and her team where you have... Um, in fact, there's a lot of things they'll teach you. Like I said, information is on the internet, but there are not coincides. There are here, here, here and there. But Linda teaches you the process. She will probably hold your hands and tell you these are things you need to do. And to be, to, be, to be candid with you, I have three of my friends who have gotten admission as I speak to you. So because I am not, I am not an expert. I am not, I am an expert now. So I haven't gone through this train. I'm an expert. So what I do basically, a lot of them have called and I was like, this is what you should do. This is what you should do. Mm. It's possible. We share one or two materials that you shared with us. And mm. they've gotten this admission. So as I speak to you, I am also mm. an expert in this field. Thanks to Linda mm -hmm. and her team. And, yeah. Congratulations to your friends. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, like I said, one of them has even gone. The, he, he's, he, he's waiting for his um, visa approval. So we're just mm. hoping and um, praying. And mm. one is we're actually doing the uh, UK. Two of them are doing Canada. Yeah. Mm. Wow! Congrats! Thank Congrats! You thank you. Uh, fact, wow! I have, I have because the truth of the matter is, the information I have, I have now, I cannot quantify it. Because mm. initially it, it it was about okay paying a fee and and the plan was me for, mm. for me to look for somebody who will help me do this thing, but coming to Vantage and they are telling me look we are not helping you what we are doing is equip you with the right information and you will mm. do it yourself and if just imagine if an agent assisted me with this and tomorrow or today, my friends need help, what would have happened? I would probably tell them, okay, go and contact this person. And it would you find out that the pool of expense will just keep increasing and keep increasing. So mm. that's exactly what Linda did for me, giving mm. me the necessary information. And today, I'm in Canada, I'm in British Columbia, Vancouver, all thanks to the team. Wow! <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Wow, wow. I have to clap, extra clapping for this year's story. Because... Trust me, I, I still have to clap for you and your team. You guys did it. Oh. <laughs> wow. Thank you, yeah. Mark. Congratulations for Thank you. pulling this off because I know it requires a lot of work, a lot of tiny, tiny details. Yes, it, it takes does. Uh, does. a lot of patience to pull it through. But the thing is, is it, no matter how tasking it is, it's still better for you to do it for yourself because imagine all those tiny details. When you yeah. then give it to someone to handle for you and that same person 
he's handling like 20 others or 100 others. You don't know, right? You don't know the client base. There is a chance for them to make a hundred error yes. on your file. Yes. You are, so you, like sometimes when you see people say something like, like you see somebody now, they will say, um, agent was filling my application, put that I'm a doctor when I'm not. They, they may even think the agent hates them. <laughs> but somehow it could be because maybe your file or your, uh, your file or your, your application was mixed up with someone else's issue because yeah. the same person that is handling your file is likely to be handling 50 people. But if you are handling your file, you are handling one person's file, at least, or yourself and your family, which we all know that when you're handling things for your family members, you handle it with care. You understand? Yeah. So you're either handling yourself only or yourself and your family. So the chance of making error is like it's way reduced. You can't you can't go and call, you can't say your your family member is now a nurse when he or she is not. You, you, not. Can't, you can't make such errors. So it's always important for one to do it themselves. But again, it's not easy because of all the challenges you've uh, brought up, the time, especially the life of a professional. A an average professional who is working is busy. Even if they are not bankers, they are still busy. So you now see the conflict. You would rather wish that somebody should just handle this thing and call yes. you when the data is, is ready. Yes. But how, how often does that happen? <laughs> so you, because of that, people can easily take their, their dream and put it in the hands of someone and go and relax. But well, the dream will be there. Five years later, nothing has happened. So it takes uh, taking the bull by the horn to really get this uh, done. And congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Mm. You mentioned something before I go into some of the, because I just said some things while you were talking about three okay. good points. Before I go into each of them, uh, you mentioned that you are in British Columbia. Tell us more about the city. I have never been to British Columbia before. So tell us more. Tell us more. Well, <laughs> I hear it's expensive. Um... I hear it's hot. I, so you tell us what have you noticed since you landed? Okay, um, of course, this is a summer period, and um, while, while, you know, it's still sunning, the weather is still good, you know, <laughs> compared to compared to where you're coming, where we are coming from and all that. It's a very beautiful city, no doubt. Um, in fact, in fact, it's a big and beautiful city. You know, mm. coming here and seeing how well arranged things are, you know, I've lived all my life in Nigeria, in fact, particularly in Lagos, so you know how organized these people know. are you know beautiful scene. in fact it's a tourist one of i think it's one of the um, tourist um cities in, in canada i think it's one of mm -hmm. the very beautiful cities yeah it's so, very fine mm. yes getting to mix up and the, the people here are very lovely and um, in fact they're always smiling you know whenever <laughs> you in terms of in terms of uh, in terms of uh, that directions and all that they're always ready to, uh -huh. to assist you I've been here for, for, for like one month and then one month, right? Yeah, I've been here for like <laughs> one month. And then uh, and, um, jobs here yeah, are left, right, and center, to be sincere. You know, I, really? I yeah, hmm. in fact, in fact, when, when I came the first week, because I was just trying to do the registration school and all that. And um, I met some Nigerians in the school, of course. So okay. the ones that have been here for some time. So they were like, okay, Alpha, whenever you're ready to work, let us know. And in two weeks, I was ready. And I said, look, I'm ready. I need to start, uh, I need to start making money and all that. And, you know, we have over close to seven job app that once you, you know, you, you, you enroll, upload your CV and all that. And the next thing, Companies are calling you for interviews, and uh, um, you know there are a lot of you know, there are really a lot of jobs here. Seriously, so it's not, I'm not saying it because I want to um, uh, I want to promote anybody, but seriously, I know how I've been a banker for eight years, and I know how difficult it is for people to get jobs. You know, mm -hmm. I, I know, but coming down here, you see companies asking you. I have, in fact, as I speak to you, I work, and I, I still have interviews on Monday, you know, so it's a question of, the question of eventually, the one I'm going to settle down for, but of course, being a student, you have limited hours, you can work, and um, 
and um, I think all things being equal, you should be able to you should be able to fund fund your living expenses, rent, you know, mm. some part of your school fees, if not all. Yeah, sure. Mm. Mm. Wow! First of all, congrats! Ah, uh, uh, multiple congratulations! <laughs> mm. Thank you very much. Man. Thank you. You know this thing that you are saying now. I really want people to pay attention to it. Why? A lot of people contact us and they will say, Dr. Linda, I don't want to study. I want to just go and work abroad. I'll be like, calm down. Go through study abroad. Because when you go through the study abroad route, the moment you land, you are eligible for work. Yes, yes as a student, you, you, you work part-time. Obviously, you can't be going to school and be working and you're still working full-time. Because here, if you need to be at work, you have to be at work. So, if you are to work all week, when will you not have time to study? So, they don't even know that it's not possible. So, no, students no. are allowed to work part-time, 20 hours a week. Which is more like three times a, uh, three times a week, roughly. Yeah, no. Depending on how the hours are structured. So, but once the person has finished studying, they can start working full-time. Do you understand? And if, let's be God, if it's even UK now offer post graduation work permits, Canada the same thing. So may, uh, many high income countries offer post graduation work permit, meaning when you finish that study where you are working part time and studying, you end up uh, you end up working full time after that. So when some people contact me and they are like, I want to go abroad to work, and I say go through the study abroad, and I see them like doing that kind of like they are throwing tantrum, right? Mm, I don't want, I just want to go and stop. Uh, I just want to go and uh, work. I don't want to study. I, I always wonder, like, do they know? I will not ask them, okay, you want to go and work abroad? Eh? How? Like, what pathway are you going to go through? They don't exactly. Know. Exactly. So it's not enough to just say cruise, it's like to just cruise. I want to go and work abroad. Congratulations. Where is the pathway you want to follow? You will stay in your home country for the next five years. You're looking for work, you will oh. not find. Meanwhile, somebody else will go through the study abroad uh, route. They will land in the country where they are going to. One week, two weeks, three weeks, they've already started working. Um, and they're still making the same money. And when they still finish the program, they will not have certificate from the country where country. they went to. Extra team to promote their career. Like if you had BSc before, now you have master's or you have PGD, depending on what you're going for. So you have extra uh, like a degree certificate. You have studied in the country, which even makes it better for you to get bigger jobs because they honor more of people who have studied in that country because yes, they feel like your knowledge, work, yes. your knowledge is up to date, you know? Yeah. And you're able to work full-time. And you will see even the many countries have pathway for students to stay in the country permanently. Canada being one of them. Let me tell you, when, when you have Canada study permits, study visa, sorry, the way I look at it in my mind is that you have Canada citizenship. Because the only thing that can stop you from being a citizen is like, let's say they now found out that you're a fraud star, you do like, you know, like ugly things. Yeah. Minus those ugly things, there's nothing in your pathway, I'm telling you. So, I just, I, I, I strongly believe that it's lack of information that we want somebody to say, you know what, I just want to go and walk and they don't even know how to achieve it. Instead of going through the study abroad pathway, which allows them to study and work, and then to start working full time after their study. So uh, I'm happy that you're pointing that out, especially for anybody that is listening to us now, so that they understand that this is how it works. Uh, sometimes they will think that maybe if you are studying, it's of a head kind of <laughs> of a head kind of study. It's not. And it's graduate not. studies here is very um, let me say the, the, I don't know how to describe. It. Like it's not the kind of schooling where you have to be in school all, all day. You understand? Like maybe you have lectures three times a week, depending on your workload. At least that was during my masters. That was the kind of timetable I had. Sometimes you have four if they divide one of the lectures into two, or depending on the workload. But if it's a three hours lecture, like three, you're already good to go a week. So once you do that, of course you have assignments, but there's really enough time for you to work if you if you want to work. There's really enough time. So I just hope that people will take advantage of that information. You know, there's another thing I would like to add. It's it's um the, the, the essence of this whole thing, like like I said earlier, there are a lot of pathways to travel mm -hmm. abroad. 
but mm. the easiest and quickest is to study abroad. Because it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was the information I, I, I got because I was, I was, I was, I was like, okay, how, 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 how? PRO is not working. How can I get work from here? You know, until I came to realize that, look, I didn't even believe that as at the time I was, as at the time I, I was attending the class that by now I'll be in Canada. Because to me, I, I felt, okay, get the information, start the process, and it's, it's a very lengthy one. But today I'm here. I, I started application. I started my application, my school application sometime, sometime in October. Yes, I think sometime in October. And and in, in six months or thereabouts, uh, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> so in fact, in fact wow. each, time, each time I wake up in the morning, I'll, I'll keep asking myself, are you sure you're not dreaming? You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're not dreaming. When I go out and I see the environment, I'll be like, are you really sure you're not dreaming? So every now and then, the thought that you are dreaming keeps coming to my head. Oh. <laughs> <Coming> to my <laughs> head. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, and see, see another point you raised there, okay? That point that you say you started your school application around October, but from the story, you, you did your training around January. You know, yes. some people, they'll just be like, um... How long does it take? I keep explaining to them that a lot of things depends on you and everybody is different. Because sometimes you may take the training, you are trying to put yourself together, you are trying together. to find out when will be the best time to start. So when some people, like, some people just want me to kind of give them this kind of information, like uh, all the people that took our class in January, by March, yeah. they've, they've gone. It, exactly. it doesn't work that way because you can decide to start, you can take it through into that and decide to start your application in two years' time. That shouldn't time. impact vantage migration or the, the uh, that means we did not do well because you made no. the decision of when to start. But the most important thing is that when you start, I always say budget 12 mo uh, six months to 12 months within that range. That like it can happen earlier. I've seen somebody that did Canada five months, it can happen yes. earlier. But yes. I wouldn't want to tell somebody go and plan for three months, you know, no. if, if, no. because even if that happens, it will be the exception, not the rule. So six to twelve months is a good time. Wow. Okay. Now let me go to the second point. So the first point we talked about was the idea of working abroad and how one can achieve that through the study abroad pathway. By the way, you also dropped another uh, another jingle. How like when you talked about the, the the speed of going through the study abroad pathway? Because every now and then I keep repeating it. Study abroad is the fastest, easiest, and surest way to relocate abroad. So people will not believe it. But go through another route and see how long it takes. Then you yeah. might be able to make the comparison. So that's another huge point that you dropped there. The timing, you know, is so fast. Okay. You, you, uh, that brings me to um, one, one thing you mentioned about the other PR routes or permanent residency routes. Uh, using Canada as a point of contact, contact we are yeah. going to be talking about the express entry route, right? Which is the one you said you started earlier, and of course, it took a lot of time, and yet, <laughs> it still doesn't <laughs> even work. Why? It works for certain people, but not everybody. Uh, uh, let me, I don't want to say, I don't want to say the, 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 the internet will deceive you into believing everybody is eligible. I don't want to say that, but it takes understanding how it works to know whether you're eligible or not. It, uh, by default, if you're a graduate, let's say you have BSc, you have BA, you know, you have HND, by default, you're eligible. You're eligible. But because of the way the system is organized, so that each time they come, they pick the top. The top people. Each time they come. If they come this week, they pick the top people. Two weeks later, they come, they pick the top people. The top people. What that yeah. means is that if you're at the bottom, even though you're eligible and you're in the pool, if you are at the bottom, you never get picked. Who are those in the bottom? Those that don't have their master's or they don't have any of this professional degree, don't have dentistry, medicine, um, law, yeah, uh, opto optometry, sorry, is optometry a part of it? Pharmacy, optometry, I think chiropractic or something. So, they are about veterinary medicine too. There are about seven programs that are considered the same as masters. 
those seven programs that I mentioned, they are considered the same as masters. So if you have them, you don't really need a masters to, to come up in the pool. Or if you don't have, let's say you read biology, you read accounting, you read nursing, you read engineering, you need to have your masters to come up in the pool. If you have a BSc, you are the background. And because the system come, all the time, they come and choose the top. All the time, they come and choose the top. If you are at the bottom, you never get selected. And you can be in this pool. One year later, they'll kick you out. You come again. One year later, they kick you out. You come again. This is how it works. So when you now see, somebody will go and tell you, um, you I will see somebody now. I say, I want to travel. Abroad. How do you exactly want to do that? Oh, I'm doing the express entry for Canada. Wow, congrats. What's the highest level of education? I have BSc. I studied biology. Sister, I don't go work for you. She, and they don't like the truth because that truth is hot. It's like they rather keep you up, not be me, not be me. I bind you. I cast my sister. It's not binding a cast. It's not. It's not. You, 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 you have to understand this. Sister. I think one thing that, like, let me blow my trumpet. If I don't blow, nobody will blow for me. One thing that has helped me so far is I, I don't know my background. I graduated as best graduate student for my university. So I'm this person that when I, when you give me something to study, I will study it and I will know it in and out. So that how, you, even though I was in medicine, I had first class results, first class grade, right? So uh, when you give me something to study, I study it so that no matter how you flip the question, I will get, I will get it. That is how I, I, I was best student. But I have carried that skill to real life. So that when I, un when I understand something like express entry, I don't understand it on the surface, on the surface. like many people. I will understand how it works. So that it, just just in me, I will know whether you go qualify or not. Just, you, just just in me. Three, four questions. I don't know. Because you see that test you talked about where people go to uh, check their score. I have understood what decreases the score and what increases the score. And some of the things you have that I know that if you have this, you won't recover. So just just with the person, I will know whether you go feel make them or not. For yeah. example, people don't know that this is not a bad thing. People don't know that being married will drop your score until your your spouse will now go and write IETS, do their exam verification, uh, result verification, all those things. So people even have the mindset that being married will increase their score. It's not. So two people can have the same thing, but you, you are married, back down, your spouse drop. Oh, oh, your spouse not even goes through, gone. You feel no feet cross. You know, like, like, so tiny, tiny things. And uh, when some people have the privilege of getting this information, they want to first go and enter the pool and spend two years, and they come back to say, Dr. Linda, well, now I want to start. I'll be like, you for collect it. Because I don't, I don't, I don't ask me you pay for the information I give you before. Yeah. That's why you don't take as serious. <laughs> so, anyway, it's good for people to understand that maybe even if they don't believe me right now, they should test their score instead of wasting time. So you exactly. test your score, and, and then compare what you got with all the people that have been selected, like all the cutoff mark for the last one year. Let's say you got 440. All the cutoff mark for the last one year have been 450, 470. You will know that maybe in the you next one year, nobody is going to call you. Exactly, yeah. You, you know? know? Or you test your score. You see that you have 480. All the people that have been selected, 450, 470. Then you know you are going to be called. It's that simple. You know? Very so true. instead of going to the pool and praying about it in this one for the next two years, Test your score and move on. And if the if the person can take what I'm saying now, that even if you are not going to go and test your score, if you if your highest level of education is BSc, full stop, it's not going to work for you. <laughs> like because with that, eighty percent of the people wasting their time in that pool, we first know that no no road day here for them. If you have BSc at your highest level of education, it's not going to work. You remain at you are eligible. You remain at the bottom. That's it. You see. You see, no, simple, you. simple thing, but uh, as they don't pay for the information now, nobody will take that one seriously. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know, the information is power. You know, it's, um, power. it's not like I will always tell people, I'll say, no matter, even if you have 100 million and you not have information, it's a matter of time, 100 million will go down. Mm. So that, that, that's, how, that's how it is. And if you have a lot of information, with a matter of time, you are going to build yourself. So it's, it's simple. It's simple. Mm. Mm. It's simple. Hmm, okay. 
the, the third point you raised was helping your friends who, whom you said one is waiting for visa. They've gotten the admission. One is waiting for visa. Two are doing UK. You know, I just want to uh, congratulate you on that because some people say when they even travel, they say, I don't even want my friends to know I've traveled. <laughs> That's a different category of people. So if somebody gets this information, I keep saying that they can use it to help anybody they want. Though, when, when I say that some people mistake me, I don't mean that that person should go and collect um, uh, uh, training materials and then ship it over to somebody else. That's not what I'm encouraging. But when you have the knowledge, nobody is going to tell you what to do with the knowledge in your brain. You can use it to help your family members, siblings, cousins. If, even some people that know it, maybe because they don't have time, they will also even still send their siblings to us to get trained. That's also... Uh, feasible. But one thing I just want the person to understand is that you have that information, you have it for life. So it's like it, 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 it's like, I don't know how to explain. Something that it doesn't expire. It doesn't mm -hmm. expire. Even if you finish one program, you want to do another program, you use the same information. Your sister wants to come, you use the same information. So most people, when they're when they able to do it themselves, first they just realize that this thing is easy. What I usually notice is that before you know, that person is telling you, my brother is already also coming. He has got his admission. My sister is already coming. So it's like what we do is lighting candles, lighting bulbs in families, in clique of friends. You understand? So if one person does it, it's like they open the door for everybody around them to actually, to actually benefit. Even if it's just benefiting from the information that a place like Vantage Migration exists, you know, that... That information looks simple, but it can be what to save that pe the other person from lots of trouble and agony from getting into the hands of uh, scammers. So yeah. I'm happy that you are doing you, you, you've been able to help your friends and you are still helping them. So God bless you for that. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> God bless you for that. So what's your advice for let's advise bankers because that since that's like your profession, right? So I know that there are a lot of bankers watching us or people even, maybe they are, they are going to banking soon or something. Or generally their work, somebody that is doing a very busy work. What's the advice for them? Okay, and well, it's, uh, it's simple because um, as busy as we can be or as busy as we can get, you know what you want. If you know what you want, as much as possible, you just need to create time for yourself get as much information. In fact, reach out to Linda. The truth is, like I said, I know how tedious the job could be. And then the way the, the master class has been designed is that information is given to you. They will drop a video materials for you. So at your spare time, maybe when you're home, you want to sleep, you could just do 30 minutes, you could just do um, you could just do um, one hour, you mm -hmm. know. Even the next day you can Keep playing and keep replaying and keep playing and keep replaying the videos until the, until you get all that is required. So I know how busy these things can be. I know how difficult these things can be. But you need to make out time because mm -hmm. this is what you want. It is easy to wish for something. If you just keep wishing, ah, when am I going to do this thing? How will I do this thing? You just mm -hmm. need to make the move. Start, mm -hmm. start up. Once you start, you just find yourself that, ah, you are 50% way in and then... Um, you know, you just all you just need to do is just wait for your results and all that. So, like mm -hmm. I said, wishing is not enough. You need mm -hmm. to act. Procrastination is one thing that I know that it's inherent in a lot of us. You know, mm -hmm. we want to do something, we'll be like, okay, let me leave it next month. And when that next month comes, something else comes up, you keep pushing mm -hmm. and you keep pushing. If you want mm -hmm. to do anything now, you do it today. Take the decision today. And I am sure that God, God willing for you in the next six months, one year, you are single, you are going to be smiling. You are going to be in your new country and you are going to be smiling. Mm. 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 Action. Action. That's what I yes, always yes. shout Action. 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 <laughs> you need to take action, yes. <laughs> Wishful thinking is not enough. You can think for two years and you are still in the same place. Action. It's not. Action. It's not. Wow. Thank you so much for Thank taking you. our time to come. Thank you all for wearing red. <laughs> <laughs> Tattoo neck red, exactly the same. Ah, brother, ah, this is uh -huh. the new side that we're both in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate your coming. I appreciate your your desire to share your story yeah. with us, but also even with all the people that you've shared it with, the people you were assisting. God bless you. And you. for Canada, you don't see us the be now. This is easy, but mm -hmm. the money gonna flow too. Yes. <laughs> so wishing you the best. Vancouver is a very good place. Uh, British Columbia, British Columbia, which is the province. It's a very good place. It's, it's as open as Ontario as well. So, make the best use of it. So, please, no, anytime I'm coming to British Columbia, I'll just notify you. Hello, no, no, Michelle, no, I'm here. No problem. No problem. In fact, it will be my pleasure to even invite you. <laughs> That's all good. <laughs> okay. All, all right. right. God bless you. Thank Take you. good care of yourself. We wish you the best in Canada, Thank okay? You. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. No problem. Bye. You can exit. <laughs> wow thank you so much everyone for joining this interview <laughs> oh my god by the way if you see we're both wearing red red turtleneck with the same type of uh, um sleeve or something i was like ah, 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 how possible did we plan it <laughs> We did not plan it, so it was just a very awesome coincidence. So, uh, I just interviewed Uche, you heard from him. I'm super excited to hear his story and to even hear that he has already started helping his friends. Can you imagine that? Oh, that's so cool. And um, I think he dropped a lot of points. He dropped a lot of points. Some of them, which I already uh, uh, like, uh, I already uh, explained them extra. And we talked about them like study abroad is the fastest, easiest, and surest way to relocate abroad. For those wanting to just go abroad to work, the question is, how are you going to achieve it? AKA, go through the study abroad route. And then we talked about um, other means of uh, other means of relocation that you know about, specifically the Canadian Express, uh, Canada Express entry. If you have BSc as your highest level of education, draw, draw your ears. Draw your ears. Here you here. How long have you been in the pool? How long do you want to be in the pool? You know go work, oh. You know go work. Take that free information. Take it. Because I did not charge you to give you the information does not mean it's not valid. If you so doubt what I'm saying, go and test your score. Any score you have, after you have tested, any score you have, check the scores that they've been calling people with. Right? And see if your score match. If you have BSc, maybe you'll be in, and you'll be somewhere below 450, that's for sure. And my dear, you can stay there for two, three years and nothing is still going to happen. Some people will even say, oh, they want to go and do this to increase their score. If you have BSc, no matter what you want to go and do to increase your score, you are still in the same place. Stop wasting your time. Stop wasting your time. Stop wasting your time. Listen. Stop wasting your time. I don't know how, how else I'm going to say it because some people they don't believe. So if you're one of those that have been in the uh the express entry route for a very long time now, just waiting and hoping, there is something you can do. You can go through the study abroad route. Full stop. Okay? There's something you can do. Stop waiting hopelessly. Okay. The other one is um being able to help others, being able to help yourself, being able to help your family. And again, I went on to say that. Being able to do that does not mean, it, because I've heard some people say, but you say we can help our friends now. Therefore, 10 of my friends lined up. We gathered money. We signed up for Vantage Migration Program. You're a thief. You're a very big thief. That's not what we're talking about. We are saying, learn, and when you learn, the knowledge you have in your head, you can use it to advise your friend. You can use it to advise your family member. Do you understand? That's what we are saying. There are two different things. We're not saying that you should take our materials and just ship it to the next person. That would be silly. That would be tea free. Okay? That would be silly. So don't do that. But definitely, I want you, I, I, I really love to work with people who we learn and they will be able to show others the light, show others the way. You know, that is, that is what I really want. Because it's like, what we do is like lighting bulbs in families. That's what we do. We light bulbs in families. I always say that if possible, like, okay, another thing we didn't even talk about is family relocation that 
this study abroad route is also a legit family relocation route. You can check my page on Instagram to know more about that. I'm not going to mention that. So, um, Uche went on to advise bankers and people who generally have very busy schedule by saying that what? Our training is flexible. It's designed for the busy working class. Again, let me even say something. When we say that, some people think that uh, by saying that, it means that they can just come, register for training, they never show up in class. That's not what we are talking about. That's not what we are talking about because if you do that, if, if we allow you to do that, then you never get trained. Then you are never in a position to implement. We as coaches, we also have a duty, right? To help you get results. We have a duty. Don't forget that. So I mean, when they are quarreling me, I will not be, I will not be laughing at you. Would you prefer a coach that never cares whether you get results in 20 years or in six months? Do you understand? So our training is designed for the busy working class. What that means is that if no matter how busy you are, even if you are coming up, coming back 11 p.m., 12 p.m., you will still be able to take your training for that day. You still be able to ask us questions live, right? So we designed the training for busy working class. It is not equal to People coming to us, not wanting to take the uh, action, just gallivanting, we will not allow that. Why? If that is what you want for your life, do not come to us. Full stop. You know? So, above all, we, we ended this interview by saying that wishful thinking is not enough when you want to relocate abroad. Instead, action is the king. Action is the king. So, if you, are, if you watch us today and you were even motivated, Trust me, this is a motivation session. <laughs> All right? The aim is you take action in your own life. Action, 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 action. Okay? Action.